Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hopefully, you enjoy the video and it's helpful. And consider subscribing if it is. And without further ado, let me show you how to work the asset library or the asset browser because it's a little bit confusing. But I'll make this video so that you'll know exactly what to do. Let's get into Blender. So, we're in Blender. First things first, the asset browser is over here. And then what you want to do is just bring it up and this is your asset browser so you can see there's nothing here but i'll fix that for you so let me close this first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add a cube and then just going to make a texture on it not a texture but i'm just going to change the color so what i'm going to do bring the metallic up the roughness down and i'm just going to change the color To like that okay now let's say i want to save this as a asset so i can use it in other things other projects so first thing we're going to do is go here preferences and now we want to tell blender where to save our assets so what you can do is go here New folder, let's say user library and accept. Okay, now you can see there. And then don't forget to go here, save preferences, go out here. So now what you want to do is make this an asset. So tell Blender that it is an asset. So you can right click there and say, Marcus assets, boom, easy. And you can see it's done there. Another way to do that is by going here and then going to Marcus assets. So now you can see if we bring this up and we're in our asset browser, it comes up, there's it over there, there's our cube and it's saved. You can obviously, and see if you don't want it to be named cube, you just double click there and say cool cube and it changes over there as well and now what you can do is drag it and it comes in there so that's how you do it that's how it's saved there but there's a couple of steps we still got to do so where a lot of people get stuck is that as you can see we have it saved in our current file but if you go to blend and you go back in it won't be in your user library so you can see it's empty nothing here it's obviously only with this project open so if i go here empty so all we have to do is make sure that this file this blend file is saved in our user library so let me show you how to do that so what you want to do is you want to go to file save as and then you want to search for that folder that you named user library so there rename this file so core cube save as and now it comes up in our asset library not in our current well it will be in our current file and in our asset library so now if i go out here let's make a new file uh, actually, sorry new general and then we go here asset browser bring this up user library boom and then our trusty cube is back so to summarize the video all you want to do is make sure every time let's say i delete this let's shift a let's add a uv sphere now quickly change this make it like this and then Metallic. Okay. Now, let's say I want to save this. You just click on it. Mark as asset. So, there. Important. Then, save as. Make sure you save it in here. Name it. 
and there we go now it's in the asset library so again if i go out of here new general go here asset browser bring this up and there we go now we can drag so importantly just remember always mark it as an asset so go there mark as assets and then you want to save it save as boom in that user library where you've saved it and name it and there we go so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did and it was helpful smash the like button and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one